this week. And as you can see, with Wi-Fi, uh, you're in finance. Uh, we hit our target, and we did it in very quickly. <laughs> uh, so you can see the power of this trade, and you know, uh, nothing to think about. I averaged down from 9,800 all the way down to 8,000, and it went a little bit under that, and it very quickly popped back up. Um, and then you can see the move that we've had here all the way to the target above at 15,800. And, uh, yeah, I wish I had trades like this all the time. This was a special situation that I could see was just manipulated as all hell. And I could see what it was likely to do, and it did it. Now, a few people have asked, what if I held on to it? You know, where else could it go? And it could go all the way back above the 20k area, but honestly, I went. Uh, and this is the target. I don't know what it's going to do from here. Um, uh, it could go all the way back up to here. It could even go much higher. I don't know that much about this. This was really a technical play based off of statistics, and uh, anything is possible with it. Is all I'll say. Uh, I'm not sure about this space, but the volume. The dynamics of this made it perfect. And you can see the volume increase and everything that happens. Um, it just was perfect, perfect trade. Uh, not much I have to really say about this one. It is what it is, right? So if you joined along on this one, um, you know, there you go. Now let's go take a look at Bitcoin. Because that's the other interesting one, right? You can see we've gone all the way up to the top of this right here. We're way above where we should be. Uh, but, you know, it's tis the season. Like I said, it, from this period of time all the way to going into February, buyers will likely have more control. And after this period of time, they'll likely drop harder. Now, the one negative about this is that this type of uh, algorithms and tech math that I use right here, um, it's less certain on Bitcoin because Bitcoin is a raw market, very much emotional and news driven and somewhat overly manipulated. Um, though I think in time you're going to have bigger money moving in that will you know, uh, offset that, which it looks like it started to do. So that's good. Um, that means my accuracy on boxes and stuff that I draw like this, which are far more accurate in the currency market, will become maybe more accurate in the cryptocurrency market. Uh, so uh, traditional currencies like in Forex, it works very well. And the timing and so forth is usually very accurate. But for this, uh, it's uh, in the crypto market, it's not as you know time-oriented. Uh, you get strange volatility skews up and down, and uh, so it's a little bit more um, less statistically uh, relevant is the only way we can put it. Other than that, anything else going on? Not really. Tesla's doing its thing. It's still, uh, I've got that as my short. Um, nothing to really think about there. Hmm. And what else do we have to really look at? Uh, CVX, it's doing its thing here. And I'm still waiting for it to get all the way back up to that near 80 area. And ultimately up to the low 80s, like up to 83. Makes the most sense. So it's going to likely cycle between here, back to here. And the volume dynamics on that one are looking better. It's still kind of lackluster. Nothing really spectacular to uh, talk about. Uh, another one is silver. This is looking pretty good. But you know my long-term views on this. Uh, I want to see it into the mid to low 30s, or mid 30s, I should say. And we'll see where we go from there. Uh, that's ultimately what I'm looking for kind of might have an increase in volume if you're able to break 
right along here, this trend line that's going up here. This turns into um, support, and we make a larger move upwards. That would be good price action for what I've seen in the charts. And uh, you'll probably see a bigger move on gold as well. Uh, similar, same pattern really. Um, so we'll see where that one goes. And uh, that's basically it. So we're just gonna wait for Bitcoin. And it's on the top right up here. I really don't think, uh, but I'm not here to think. Like I said, the statistics of us going much above here are kind of low. Um, you know, again, I don't over leverage, uh, and I, I, the only thing I hedge on Bitcoin with using size is my own. Um, so, uh, worst case scenario for me is I just don't make anything if it keeps going up. Uh, I get stuck at whatever I shorted it at, and it's a locked value. Uh, being naked. Uh, a naked short I do not recommend um, that's dangerous uh, you know uh, you could always be a naked long but a naked short you have you know unlimited light you know it, it, it could blow you out uh, because something you could keep going up uh, on, on the downside when you're long you can only go down to zero so on uh, a short that is the exact opposite. You can go to infinity. So always keep that in mind. That's why I only hedge what I, I own. Very rarely do I ever go naked shorts. And I will have a stop or uh, uh, an exit plan on there in case it goes against me. Uh, you should always, if you're naked, uh, definitely do that or else, you know, you're, you can become, you can get destroyed that way. Uh, so keep that in mind. That's why I don't go short naked. Uh, if somebody asked me about that. I don't think it's wise to do that. Uh, usually people do that is because of the greed mode. They can get a few trades or maybe even many, and they can win a lot. And uh, they think that, you know, hey, I'm making a lot of money. Then they get one bad trade that goes against them. And they have no exit plan, and they blow their account. That's that's what happens a lot in uh, crypto. Um, you know, they, these guys using 50x leverage and so forth, and you know, it becomes an adrenaline thing where they're like junkies, and it's very sad. But uh, it, that's trading uh, that happens in forex, and uh, it's just because uh, they're not realistic and they don't have any real training or. Um, experience with markets to be honest with you uh, so other than that um, we'll see where we go next week I'll update you then other than that uh, enjoy your weekend and I'll talk to you soon all right